Oh. Who is this dirty pig? Why Rassi? Just two legs on my father's couch. Hey! Who did right there? What do you think you want to do, you imposter? You want to hug me with your stinking body? Shh, shh. Imposter, how? Shh, shh, get out. Oh, you don't know? I'll tell you. My father, Chief William Sibenebo, is not. Enough, Trace! Will you shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you? What has come over you? What is wrong with you? That you open that thing you call a mouth, that gutter you call a mouth, to spew gibberish. What is wrong with you? Quiet, Dorothy. One more word of insult from you, I will make sure you regret it. Huh? Make me regret it, Reese. Make me regret it. What is. Are you senseless? Is something wrong with you? Wait. You're shamelessly attacking me because I told this fool the truth about who he Who is. are you calling a fool, Trace? Did you touch my face? No, 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 I've caressed and romanced your Did face. Did you touch my face? You put that thing I in it. I am going to have to get you out of the house. You know, it's a problem. No, don't let me talk to this idiot that calls herself my twin. Hey, get out of the house. Do not take your get out. Stay right there. Get out. Stay right there. Stay here. I said get out. Do not move an inch. Do not say any, any word. Are you listening to me, Ozoma? Stand right there. I said get out. What right do you have to tell her to get out? What is and going on here? Dad. And as for you, I will make sure you regret this for fighting me. Dorothy will pay for it. Dress me. Dad. I said sit down. No, no, no. Here. Sit here. Eh? Hey. Shh, shh. Move away! Hey! Move away! Nonsense. Tracy, <laughs> I can see you. you've become mad. Listen, one more word again from you. I will look you in the face and disown you. And what are you waiting for? Disown me! Chief, go ahead and disown me. And as for this fool, this fiend standing here can never be my brother. You have to take him back from wherever you, you got him. So take him back! Your for goodness sake, what is wrong with your sister? What is wrong with you? Dad, please, Dad, please just say it. You, you, you don't have to do this with her. Please. Dad, can you relax and just say it, please? Please. Are you not going to disown me? What is wrong with you, Tracy? Have you, have you lost your sense of dignity? What is wrong with you? You think you're the only one who has the monopoly of madness, right? Tarate, I wasn't talking to you. Sit your ass down, I Trace. Wasn't... Trace, sit down! Better, did you push I don't cheap drugs or what? Did you push Trace, me? Sit there! Hey, no, I'm so, just so, letting so. you do this foolish thing because of daddy. So, dad, tell me, are you truly my father? Oh, poor boy. Poor Derek, let me tell you the truth. You don't have your parents living here. You were picked from the orphanage home. Daddy can tell you that. So, you are not my brother. Did I answer your question now? Tracy! Uh, my daddy is not your daddy. My mother is not your mom. You see, you're an orphan. I have to tell you the truth. Accept it. Dorothy. Dad. Dad. Did I lie? Derek. Okay. Listen. Tracy is crazy. I think she's on cracks or something. You don't have to listen to her. Come on. Hey. Don't do this to yourself. Listen to me. You I am telling it. you the truth. These people are lying. lying. Shut your mouth, Trevor. Nonsense. Get out of my father's house! Get out! Hey, leave my father's house. You're an orphan. You are fatherless. You don't have your mother. You don't belong here. Get out of my father's house! Leave! Stupid boy! I hate you! I hate all of you! I hate everyone in this house! Derek. Derek, will you listen to me? Tell me what she is telling. But I've Say ever, is not I've ever lied to you before. Come on, you have to calm down. Don't listen to Tracy. She's crazy. She's Tracy. That's why she's Tracy. Come on. Derek. Derek. Come on, you're a man, for God's sake. Stop. Where are you? Do I have to wait forever before you show up? Hey, listen, I don't like things like this, right? Just come here. 
I have more important things to do. Hey, shh, young man. I don't take nonsense from any man. Right? I need you to get here. Please. What nonsense. Don't you think that was too harsh? I've told you to stop being harsh on men. It scares them away from you. Hey, excuse you. You see, those men, they are just nothing. Whatever they are getting from me is what they deserve. <laughs> Come on, look at me. I am beautiful, classy, and sassy. Moreover, I'm from a wealthy home, so they won't stop flogging around me like bees to honey. Come on, they need me. <laughs> Is that not him coming? Oh, no, 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 not, not of course. That can't be him. What, what would he be doing with a, a Ricky car? Listen, that guy is super rich. You can't be him. Relax. Okay. Oh. Is that him? I don't know. Hi, babe. How are you? Are you the guy I'm supposed to meet here? Oh, yes, of course. Alex. What? Is this your car? Oh, yes, that's my car. Oh, my God. Toyota Camry. Shut up. You mean you, you own this? Yes, that's my car. This is not the Alex on Facebook. It's me, Alex. Facebook guy, yeah. So, so, so you, you own... You lied to me that you're a big boy. But I'm a big boy. Shut up, you're not a big boy. I'm a big boy. How can you come here with a ricketty car? You stood me for 30 minutes. I, I, only for you to appear so cheap. Cheap? With this ricketty car. This is not ricketty. It's Toyota Camry. Of, oh, my goodness. Ricketty? It's not called ricketty. It's called Toyota Camry. One more word from you, I will slap you. Oh, I'm sorry. But it's Toyota Camry. It's not ricketty. Can you just stop? You should have oh just asked him politely why he kept you waiting, not shouting. Can you just shut up? Shut up! Vanessa, you know I don't date this kind of thing. I don't date broke boys. I am a big girl, so I go for the rich. Alright? I'm know. sorry, can we go out for lunch now? What? Can I take you out for lunch? I said one more word from you, I will get you arrested. That's it. Arrest? Shut up! I don't have any business with you.
Wait. Is this not Alice? Hold on. So why is it dressed properly today? That this guy is disguised the day he came to see Tracy and I. Oh my god, this guy is made. Fuck my friend messed up. Eh? Only stay this girl to, to calm down. Adjust yourself, you will not hear. No, no. Oh my god, now look at this guy. No, 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 no. Tracy needs to hear this. What's up, babe? Hello, Tracy. I'm fine. How are you? Babe, where are you? Oh, I'm, I'm at the plaza where I went to pick things for my mom. Guess who I saw now? Who? The Alex guy. Where's Alex? The guy your Facebook lover now. Oh, um, Alex with the Ricketty car? <laughs> yes, Alex with the Ricketty car. <laughs> so what is he doing at the shopping mall? I saw him at the plaza. Girl, that guy is made. You wouldn't believe what I saw today. I mean, why can't this poor guy respect his poor ass and sit down? Shopping mall is not for the broke people. You need to advise him. Alice is not broke. Alice is thinkingly rich. You mean Alex? You cannot recognize the same Alex. Finish her, please. Tracy, Alice is made. And I know the first day you put made, he came with a rickety car. But that is not the car I saw him with today. Alice is made, believe me. Uh -uh. Let me tell you, forget about what you see on the social media. Alex is broke. And that's final. Tracy, what I'm saying is that this guy is made. I don't know how to explain this to you. I wish you were here right now. You would have seen this guy. This guy is made. He's thinkingly rich. I mean, from his dressing to the car he came here with, he smells very nice. V, you are my girlfriend. And you know I don't play with things like this. Are you sure of what you're saying? Will I be lying to you? Will I be lying to you? I'm very sure. You really need to face this with this guy. You really need to face it with him. Hmm. Don't say. Wow. Alex is rich. Babe, I'll call you back, please. He's rich. Maybe I should just send him a day. No, no way. This is just a prank. Alex is not rich. It can't be. Never. Oh. V wants to play me. But I'm, a, I'm, I'm the best at this. Oh. Babe, you need this boy back. Ha. Ah. Well, we've already moved on with our lives. What do you mean by how? Are you not a fine girl? Find a way around it. Find a way around what exactly? Tracy, you don't need to miss this guy. 
You guys have things working out for you on, on social media. You need to get his attention. Find a way to get his attention back. V, I cannot do what you are asking me to do. As a matter of fact, I can't go back to him. Not after all I've said to him. No way. Why are you being toxic? You guys used to be social media, Facebook lovers. You used to tell each other sweet, sweet things. Not until you, you decided to miss face to face, which you spoilt. The same reason I can't go back to my vomit. Please. You know where things started getting sour. So go back and right your wrong. But girlfriend, this time around, mind your utterances. Deal with your temperament. It has done you more harm than good. Yes, so stop. I can't do what you're asking me to do. My goodness. I called this guy names. I even gave him a nickname. Alex with the Ricketty car. You know it's not possible. He's not going to accept me. So let's not try. Please. As a consigned friend, and a nice one at that, you need him back. Come on, he's a nice guy. I don't think he will want to have anything to do with me. I messed up. Girlfriend, there is no harm in trying. All you need to do is swallow your pride and talk to him. If he truly loves you, I promise you he will come around. Oh? You think so? I know so. Can't. What happens to my pride as a woman? My friend, go get that pride and call him. What pride are you talking about? Call him on phone, please. V. Tracy. Hello? Hi, Tracy. How are you? I'm fine. You called me today. It's going to be a good day. Where are you? Why? You want to see me? Yes, I... I want us to see. I... I, I want us to talk about something very important. Alex, please. I am sorry about the other day. I am sorry about how I spoke to you. I was angry. Um, it's okay. Uh, I'm not upset with you. So, how do we see? Okay, uh, come to Chief Equipment Close, House 34. Yes, do you live there? Are you home now? Uh, on my way home, I just went to pick up a few things. Okay, that, that's fine. I'll be right on my way. All right. See you later. something more befitting, you know, mm -hmm. something to impress him. Mm -hmm. Mount coats that will coat your tongue when you get there. Whatever. Okay. My friend, leave my house. <laughs> I'm going to... It worked! And then I'll get to call when you come back and give me the juice. Of course, of course. That's my girl. Thank you. See you. Whatever. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
Chris the fuck? Sir, how come, sir? How are you? Kindly get those things from God. I'm expecting someone today. Okay, sir. Her name is Tracy. When she comes, give her access, okay? Uh, okay, sir. We're good? Yes, sir. You wash the car. All right, sir. All right. Have you eaten? Um, I, I don't eat, sir. All right. Mm. Thank you, sir. not be staying in this kind of compound. Could it be that Vanessa was right after all? This house looks familiar. Yes! This is the same house Alex posted on Facebook. Yes, yes, yes. This is the same house he takes his pictures and videos and posts on Facebook and Instagram. My goodness. Look at the cars. Wow. Hmm. Well, I am here. I will find out. Wow. Good afternoon. Is this Alexandra's house? Yes, ma. Who are, who are you, please? I am I am Tracy. You mean he owns this house? Yes. The cars? <laughs> yes. Wow. Really? <laughs> Did he tell you I'll be coming? Yes, he, he told me he will be coming. Ah, okay, let me. Christopher, are you okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hi. I mean, Alex, I demand to know what's going on. This beautiful big house. It's luxury cars. Look at you. You, you, you. you look different from what you made me believe the first day we met. Who are you? Alex, I am very sorry. You know what happened that day was a case of transfer aggression. I am not always that angry. Sorry, please. It's okay, I forgive you. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> uh, your house is so, so beautiful and big. <laughs> this, this is the kind of house I like. <laughs> We're going to, right? Yeah, sure. So. After you. Oh, that's right. Oh. <laughs> Baby, I am not disappointed at all. I enjoyed every bit of it. Really? Oh, yes. I love you. Me too. <laughs> you know, you are a really nice guy. After everything I did and said to you, 
yet you forgave me. Yeah, because uh, everything that happened is in the past. Let's move on. That's fine. Mm -hmm. So, what about your girlfriend? I told you we broke up a long time ago, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. What girl in her right senses would decide to leave a man like you? I mean, you're cute. You are super rich. You have everything and you're every girl's spec. <laughs> Just that you've not told me the reason you decided to pretend to be someone else. Salt. I thought you said you love salt. But it tastes good. It's it doesn't nothing. taste good. There's too much salt in it. But take more water and enjoy the meal. It's bad food. Bad cooking. Bad cooking? Yeah. But I'm eating. Can I get something else to eat, please? So, what happens to the food I made? No, what happens you, to this pasta? I don't know. You probably just eat it. <coughs> no way. <laughs> We're in this together, baby. Really. Enjoy I'm it. serious. Can I get something else to eat, please? Something like bread, butter, anything. Not this. Fresh, fresh. Classic, classic. Maybe she's fresh, she's fresh, she's classy, she's classy, she's beautiful, she's beautiful, she's tight, she's tight, she's fresh, she's fresh, she's classy, she's classy, she's all of it. Yeah. She's a lady, 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 she's a lady, 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 classy lady, she's a lady, lady, lady. Lady, she's a lady. Oh, lady. she's a morning lady. Oh, Mama. Mama, how are you? I'm fine. Please, uh, fetch Tracy from my room. Miss Tracy is not at home. Not at home? Did she state where she was going to? No, Ma, she didn't. This daughter of mine. Anyway. The gate man brought some bags into the kitchen. Okay. They are ingredients for making tomorrow's dinner. It's a leaf soup. Okay. So you can wash the meat, put them in the freezer, and the bitter leaf. Okay, ma. Tracy will be doing the cooking tomorrow while you come with me to the atrium. All right, ma. Uh, what's for dinner? White rice and stew, ma. Mm. Make it yummy, okay? I will, ma. Get me a glass of water. I'm coming. Someone that's about to write her final exam can barely stay at home to read her books. Even when she's at home, she abandons what's her state and keep pressing her phones. Is this girl completely different from her twin sister? I'm famished. Hurry up. Yes, sir. Um, and once you're done, go and call Tracy to come to dinner, okay? I was informed by Ozioma that Tracy went out. What? 
You mean Tracy is not in this house by this time of the night? Chief, mm -hmm. I'm tired of talking. Eh? Her final exam is coming up pretty soon. And she's busy gallivanting around town instead of reading in preparation for her forthcoming exams. Call her now and tell her she should start heading home. Now. Uzuma. Yes, ma'am. Get my phone from the center to me. Okay, ma'am. What decent girl will still be out there at this time of the night? Tell her I want her to come back in less than 10 minutes. What nonsense? Uzuma. Let me have the phone. Tracy, Tracy. Ma, ah, here is the phone. Thank you, my dear. Her phone is not even reachable. Hmm? Oh, I think she's back. Let her come here and tell me where she's coming back from. Come back here. And what is good about this evening? Where are you coming from? A friend's place. A friend's place? A man or woman? I can't believe Tracy left this house without making the bed. The kitchen is entirely messed up. She didn't do the dishes. Her cooking is very bad. Sometimes I wonder how she was raised. Very mannerless girl. The only thing she knows how to do is have sex. That's the only thing she's good at. Nothing more. Can you imagine? Tracy, have I not told you that once it's 6 p.m. that you must be home? Daddy, something came up. Something came up. And why did you switch off your phone? Mom, I did not switch off my phone. I guess network was poor or something. I don't know. Listen, this is the last time I will ever tolerate this nonsense from you. Did you hear that? Oh, get out of my sight. Get out! Look at her. Babes, are you on bed already? <laughs> That's for you. Me, I cannot come and kill myself. <laughs> I am just stepping in. Babes, that guy is what you said he is. Yes. 
Alex is my speck. <laughs> He's so sweet and hot. You know, I, I am beginning to wonder how he overcomes Lady's temptation. Look how he's cute. What was that? V, we made out and it was so amazing. Yes, of course. Will I be moping at him? See, girl, I didn't come to play. I am only taking my chances and that's what it is. <laughs> Says who? It is good to be real. I see things the way they are. Alex is so hot. So, coming. Here's your food. But let me get the water. Okay. So, V, that guy is so hot. I just cannot resist his chance. But I, I have to go now, right? He dealt with me, so I need to refuel. He sapped my energy. My friend, go. Oh, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Ha! <laughs> oh, my goodness. Alex is good. Thank God for this food. <laughs> you know, I actually had to pretend to eat enough of that nonsense I made at Alex's house. I know I'm not so good in cooking, but why wow. wow. have a choice? Delicious. I don't really know how to cook. God for this life. God for this life. daughter is still sleeping at this time of the morning. Oh. Oh, Will you get up there? Mom, I don't like this. Why do you keep doing this every morning? That's the only way I wake you up in this house. Can you ever wake up on your own? Gosh. Mom, please. Don't do this next time. I don't like it. You say you're too lazy for my liking. Ah! You're not going to greet your mother. Brother, you're busy telling me what you like and what you don't like. Like, seriously? Okay. Mom. Good morning. Oh, please, stop badging in on me. It is very uncivilized and unconventional to you, for you to always invade my privacy. My friend, shut your mouth. My friend, get off the bed and go get yourself busy with chores. Chores? Mom, you want me to do chores? What happened to Uzuma, the house help? Well, I'm leaving. I came to inform you that you'll be preparing bitter leaf soup for dinner today. Mom, why are you ordering me to prepare that delicacy when Uzuma is in this house? Uzuma will not be home today. And where will she be going? Uzuma is going with me to the eatery today. One of my girls lost the father, so she traveled to the village. I'll be needing Ozioma at the A Street today. Um, Mom, I can't cook. Why do you want me to make that bitter leaf soup? I can't do that, please. Can you hear yourself? No. Do you know how stupid you sound? You should be ashamed of yourself, Tracy. Oh, Mom, not now, please. Not now. I am not going to make that. I don't See, know how to do it. <laughs> don't make that bitter leaf soup with the ingredients I kept in the kitchen and see the other side of me. Nonsense. Mom, you're serious. 
I'll just go back to sleep. I need to see mom before she leaves. Oh. a.m. She's still in bed sleeping. Let her not make that bitter leaf soup for dinner today. She will have to tell me the kind of demon that has taken hold of her. Ozama! Mom, Mom, why bitter leaf soap? Why not bitter leaf? Mom, you and I know that bitter leaf soap is often bitter. So I would suggest we do a gussy soup or okra for tonight. That would be nice. Tracy, your dad wants bitter leaf soup. Don't you get it? Mom, please. I don't want to make a mess of that soup. Can we just switch? Get off my phone, please. Get off my phone. I don't know how to make better leaf soap. I'll just sit on YouTube and Google it. And then I'll go back to my sleep. Hey? Tracy sees cooking as one hectic tax. Hey? Simple make bitter leaf soup and she's giving me options. Can you beat that? She only knows how to eat food prepared by other persons. What if she gets married tomorrow? Who is going to cook for her husband? I'm sure she has not thought about that. Eh? Oh. Ma, calm down, please. Calm down. Don't stress yourself so you don't trigger your BP. So, Ma, did you give your parents high blood pressure? So why would my own daughter want to kill me before my time? Huh? Well, she will change. I'm sure of that. You don't know Tracy. Tracy has always been like this ever since she was little. Ever since she was a child, right from childhood. She has always been like this. Always disrespectful, very saucy and lazy. The more reason she and Dorothy got into school at the same time, but Dorothy graduated before her. But they're not studying the same course. Dorothy is studying medicine and surgeon. But Tracy picked the easier course, physical and health education. Yet she keeps writing carryover upon carryover. Carryovers on physical and health education? Yes, so. Yes. Have you seen Tracy doing any form of exercise in the house? Does she go for money run? For someone that is studying physical health education, has she ever been to the gym for exercise? No. I know students and graduates of physical and health education are usually fit. Oh, everything about them is about sports. You can say they are sports inclined. No, no, no not my daughter. Not Tracy, my daughter. The only thing she's good at is to lazy around the house and on social media 247. That is the only thing my daughter is good at. Madam, are you and Chief should calm down? She will change. I blame myself for all this. I blame myself. I think I failed in my motherly role. <laughs> Maybe I can't wait to see this movie that we premiered today at the cinema. <laughs> oh. Why? 
why are you doing that? I like your guy. I like the music, low. What exactly do you even like? You don't like seeing movies? You don't like listening to music? You don't like sex? I never told you I don't like sex, but too much of it is bad. Oh. Yeah. Really? Say it to me. Marriage brings together two different people with different priorities. And they learn to cope with each other. Right now, you need to learn to cope with me. I just, I saw that movie you visited, okay? I said it. You don't like seeing movies. Thank God it's coming from your mouth. Taking you home. Perfect. I want to go home so I can prepare to you. I thought you have a maid. Why do you make dinner yourself? Yeah, we do, but let me pass your bowls. I am going to prepare bitter leaf soup. Bitter leaf soup? Mm -hmm. Alright. You should bring some for me. Are you serious? Yeah, I want to know how good you cook. Mm, okay, and I promise you will enjoy every bit of it. <laughs> Yes. 
Capital is so based on the yellow. I'm sure it's curry that makes it yellow. Yeah, that's what it is. Curry. Capital is so good. Let's drink this. Yellow. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. It's there. Oh, Let me add some water. I'll add that later. Preparation of this soap really drains life out of me. Let's see what it got. <laughs> okay, Daddy. So dark. Didn't you add enough oil? Yes, mom. I did. Let me test it. Can you just please enjoy this food and stop complaining? Just eat. Let me test it. To think that a young girl like you cannot prepare a simple meal is 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 disgusting. wrong with this soap. It's perfect. Don't be silly. Will you shut your mouth? Mom, why are you shutting me up? What crime have I committed by preparing the soup my mother asked me to cook? This is disgusting. To think that a girl your age cannot prepare a simple pot of soup. Mom? Did you call making of a pot of bitter leaf soup simple do you know what it took me to, to to prepare this food it took almost my life i'm so disappointed in you you are disappointed in me how mother did you even teach me how to cook you should be proud of me and be grateful that i made this really I got the teaching of this soup from a video I saw on YouTube. A cooking class. You what? Yes, Daddy. Oh. Henrietta. I knew that a day like this was going to come. When you will sit down and begin to regret the wrong you did to this girl. You were busy training the Mets and left your daughter to rot away. Let the unfortunate man that will marry her 
teach her how to cook. That is if she will really get married. Daddy, I have a suggestion. Let's get some red wine. Then it can. Will you get quiet? Now my husband will have to go to bed on an empty stomach. This feels so bad. I can't believe Miss Tracy made that thing and called it a soup. What is there in preparing Bitalif soup? This is the same soup I cook in this house and she eats. Everybody will go. We all go hungry this night because of this rubbish. What's there, Ma? Ma! Hi there. I know you're fucked out already. Hmm? But please, microwave the rice and stew we came back with. So we can have something to eat this night. Okay, Ma. Daddy is very hungry. I can't let him go to bed on an empty stomach. Thank you, my dear. Hmm? You shouldn't be thanking me. It's my job to cook for the family. I shouldn't put you under another stress. Hmm? Thank you so much. Huh? No problem. I'll get to it now. It is nothing. All right. It's good to have you here, my dear. It's good to hear from you. Mom, how are you? And you? Tell me, how is dad? Dorothy, I'm fine. Oh, dad, are you okay? You don't sound fine. <sighs> Your sister got us very worked up this night. Trace, what did she do? Your father demanded for bitter lip soup. And Ozioma had to go to the eatery with me. So I asked Tracy to make bitter leaf soup. Oh my God, Mom. What did you do? You and I know that Tracy doesn't know how to cook. Yet you asked her to make bitter leaf soup. I'm sure she made a mess of it. Your dad and I were so furious. You shouldn't have, seriously. It's quite a pity that Tracy has not changed one bit. Nothing has changed about her. But seriously, she should start learning how to cook, though. What if she gets married tomorrow? <sighs> Mom, you should have thought of that when you were spoiling her. Well, she told me in confidence that she's going to employ a cook to cook their meals in her husband's house. She said that? Of course. Trust me, you can talk her into anything or even talk her out of it. I tried talking to her, you know... For her to give herself up for learning. But guess what she said to me? What? Your guess is as good as mine. She was stiff-necked. She didn't even allow me land. Tracy is just lazy. She's allowed beauty over cloud her judgment. But you're also beautiful, my daughter. You failed to groom her when she was younger. I seriously do not understand or know why, how you're going to go about this. Your overpumped daughter... Is now a colossal exactly, mess. Exactly, Dorothy. You got your mother here. Thank you for making her understand that she failed in her duty as a mother to bring up Tracy well. Mom, Dad, enough of Tracy and her troubles. I'm done with my studies. Wow! Oh, that's good news. Gee, wow. Congratulations. Congrats, my dear. That means we'll be expecting you soon. Of course, I'll be jetting into the country pretty soon. Sweetheart, I can't wait to see you. I miss you. <sighs> I'll miss you guys. <laughs> I miss you too, my girl. Oh, All right. Take good care of yourself. All right. See you soon. Mm. Bye, Dad. Bye, Mom. Wow. Yeah, at least something to brighten up my day. 
So you insisted I sent the food at first to you. Yeah, it is. You John. It is delicious, right? Are you okay? I don't like the food. I don't know, there's just something isn't right. I don't feel like eating anymore. Can, can I take you somewhere, please? Can we go to a restaurant or something? What's wrong with the food? It's too bitter. Alex, I, 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 I invested enough energy to make this soup. Maybe we should add sugar to it. my question. Please wait. Don't like this. We? You're not even sure if I would like to have the same thing with you. Well, it's okay. I accept to get it. You like it or not? Thank you. Peter Liu. How does it taste? Is this how bitter leaf soup tastes? Delicious, right? This is the real bitter leaf soup. This is better than the one you made. Listen, I'll advise you. Why don't you get off your high horse? Why don't you bring your shoulders down and learn how to cook? You don't trap a man with sex. To a man, sex is very cheap. They can get it anywhere. You keep a man with your good character. Respect. Loyalty. And most importantly, the way you cook. Enjoy your food. Why did he do that? Why 
did he take me to that restaurant? If not for one thing in mind. Oh, Trace. Trey, why did I even take the food to him? Not like it's my fault. He said he wanted to have a taste of my food. And I had to oblige. Trace, this is the second time he's complaining about my cooking. Oh, what do I do? I don't want to lose Alex. I love him so much, I have to do something real quick. Is this my training? Oh, forgive me, I'm fine. I didn't I didn't check the color before kicking on the call. Mom said you'll be coming back soon. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. So when exactly are you returning to Nigeria? Hmm. Wow. <laughs> Safe flight. I'll be so glad to have you around. I've missed my training. Are you kidding me? Are you for real? I can't wait to see you. Mm, he's doing great. Anyways, I've really missed my twinnie and I'll be so glad to have you around. Sure, I'll see you. <laughs> bye bye. Wow. <laughs> mm. And Madame is returning. So much to talk about. It's girls' time. This is going to be fun, my twinnie and I. <laughs> I guess she's the one. I can't wait to see how beautiful she is. Tracy. Oh my god, Tracy. Hello. Who are you? And what are you doing in my man's house? I am Ruby. Shh. Mm. I did not ask for your stupid name, old cargo. I see. This is how you old hats. Go around the town looking for a young man's destiny to destroy. But you've got the wrong man. Now I ask again. What are you doing Excuse in my man's house? Me? Excuse you! Excuse me! What? What is my handsome Alex looking for? In an inspired woman like you. That I don't have. Take a good look at me. I am beautiful, young, and sexy, with the best curve in town. Now I ask again, what are you doing here? Tracy. Like, look at, look at this. From where to where, you are no match. <laughs> Tracy, is this really who you are? My God, you are so rude. Now I get it. Have you gone bonkers? You call me by my name? I Get thought, out! I should have known. You are such an untrained dog. No wonder my brother has been so skeptical about taking you to our family. Yo. Is... Is Alex your brother? You really think you can get my kid brother into having something serious with you? Just by opening your leg. Really? Uh, I, I, 
Auntie, I, I, I am sorry. I, I didn't know you are Alex's sister. Oh, yeah? Yes. Sex doesn't give husband. Though. Can you listen to me? Character does. Tracy or whatever your name is, you have no character at all. And you are zero wife material. No, you are wrong. I, I am a wife material. Hundred yards. Please forgive me. I am sorry, ma. If I see you around this environment, just an inch, <clears throat> you will be sorry for what I will do to you. No, no, auntie, please. I, I am sorry. Please forgive me. It, it, okay. It's the devil. Okay. Thank you. Come on! Where are you going to? Oh, oh, oh. You want to use this, your rude self, to come into this house? In fact, before I open my eyes, will you get out of this place? I said, get out of this place now! Man, I'm so out! Mannerless. She's so mannerless. My God. Well, Dad. I'm surprised Tracy didn't come with you to the airport. Sweetie, you look as if you don't know your sister Tracy. <laughs> when your call came in that we were already at the airport, she was no longer to be found. <laughs> Typical Tracy. <laughs> but, Dad, yes? you look dashing as ever. I mean, if it, it just seems like you've taken a vampire serum huh? and has vehemently refused to age. What can I do? <laughs> I don't have a choice than to eat well and take good care of myself. That should be expected. <laughs> After all, mom is a chef, so she should feed you with the right meals. Oh, I am <laughs> your mother's priority. You know? <laughs> <laughs> of course, I know that. You know that I can I, I, I can recall you say, saying, you know, that your family is your retirement plan. Mm, that's. <laughs> My daughter talking like his father. <laughs> oh, Dad, come on. You trained me to become the woman I am today. I mean, I am who I am because of your strict training. Yeah. You taught me to be resilient, you know, to pursue my dreams and aspirations. And above all, to never give up on life. Truthfully, if I had followed mom's pattern of training, trust me, I would have turned out like Tracy. <laughs> and we don't need true Tracy's in this family, uh, not at all. Honestly, <laughs> Dorothy, I am proud of you. Oh, Dad. And thank you for not letting me down. And I will never let you down, Daddy, so much. But I've missed you, though. And I've missed home. <laughs> I missed you, Mom. <laughs> Welcome I, back. Thank you, Daddy. I'm sure Mom must be preparing all the dishes I haven't oh, had in a while. Oh, you know what your mom can do. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see them all. I, I can't wait. Stay at home and prepare a good meal for you while I bring you down. Very important. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're welcome back, my daughter. Thanks, Dad. Mm. This whole place has changed. Like, it's opened up. Oh, it's only natural. Oh, this is good. The only thing that is constant is change. Very true. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. Tracy, what is wrong with you? I don't know. What do you mean by you don't know? Tracy, you know. You allow your beauty and your father's world to get into your head. It's not my fault that I am beautiful. I'm also a rich kid. Am I not beautiful? Is my parents not well to do? Why are you behaving as if the whole world revolves around you? What is your problem? Don't you say I think I've lost Alex? You think you've lost Alex? I've been begging you. Control yourself. Put yourself in order. Control your temperament. But no. Almighty Tracy, don't take advice from anybody. Now look at you. What do I do? You're asking me. It, yes, because I don't know what to do. I, I'm losing my mind. Tracy's your mess. So fix it and leave me out of it. But I don't... I can't come up with any idea. You need to help me. I you need to get it. my man back. Big, 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 big. Are you today? Do it be your problem? Really? 
Yes, I forget. Um, did you forget that your sister is coming back from US today? That's true. Oh my goodness. I need to get going. So Tracy wants to come into this house. Never, not on my watch. I will make sure that my key brother ends everything he has with her. Can you imagine? She's not even a wife material. In fact, in fact, no, 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 no. Let me call Alex. I need to settle this. Hello? Alex? Uh, you should have been home by now. Hi, sis. Um, I stopped over at a restaurant to have lunch. <laughs> I hope you haven't gone to see that silly girl. What do you mean, cheeky girl? Who's that? Who else? If not that Tracy. What has she done? Alex, do you know that Tracy came to this house and insulted the living hell out of me? Are you serious about this? Yes. Do you know that she has the audacity and temerity to call me Ruby? Me. She called me names. Not you know. I was only being nice as a nice person that I am. She just started calling me names, old cargo and the rest of them. She said all that to you? Ah, ah. Alice, have I ever lied to you before? Or is it that girl I'm going to lie against? I'm not going to lie against her, and this is how everything happened. This doesn't make sense. I mean, Tracy saw you for the first time and she decided to be rude to you. So where is she? <laughs> <laughs> we are home. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> My beautiful daughter! Oh, oh you my baby! You look good! Yeah. Wow! Wow! Oh. Come on, you, you look great! I can say that again! <laughs> Tell me, what have you been feeling, Dad? Like taking good care of him. Of course, I trust you and the chef. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my job. Oh my you look good there. Thank, Thank you, you so Mom. much. Thank welcome, you so welcome, much. welcome, welcome, welcome. Mom, take a good look at you. Dad, mm. tell me, did you share the vampire serum with her? Oh, I don't have a choice. You know, it takes two to tango. Of course. <laughs> I'm lost. You're not aging. That's what it means. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Come on, what's eating you up? Tell me. Dirty. You know you can tell me anything. You've been my gossip mate. Right from when we were teens. So come on, spill. What is it? I insulted my boyfriend's older sister. Mm. The same one you've been talking to me about? Yes. I never knew she was a sister. Um, okay, did you apologize? Yes, I did. But it was already too late. The lady walked me out of my man's house and warned me never to return. And your guy? He 
wasn't home when it happened. But I tried calling to apologize to him, but she wasn't picking up. I guess the sister must have told him everything that transpired. <sighs> I see. Listen, <sighs> it's to be expected. I'm sure he's just angry at the moment. So give him a little bit of time and call back. Hmm? Come on, beautiful Tracy. Oh, no, 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 sis. Beauty without having a man is nothing. I can't just be in a relationship today. And after two months, we've broken up already. It's not making sense. But then you have to work on your attitude. I'm sorry to say this to you, Trace. Your attitude is zero. You have zero character. And trust me, no man, none, no one can deal with something like that. So you have to start working on it. Hold it right there. Are you also trying to insult me? Not at all. The thing is, you are my twin. And I love you so much. And that's why I'm telling you the truth. You... But as it stands, I will always tell you the truth. You, my darling, I spoiled brat. Sorry. Dorothy. Daddy. Besides, uh, mom was always lenient with you. Like she 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 allowed you to get away with everything. And when dad tried to scold us. You know, she she always called it that. And made you believe that you were the most prettiest girl on earth. And that with beauty and wealth, you, you know, you had everything. So you didn't have to worry about anything. And that way, I think it kind of like inculcated so much pride into you. Come on, Trace. That you was and it's still harsh. So mom, mom was never wrong about him. Well, I think what dad was trying to do was forge us into independent women. He wanted us to become good women in, in the society. And of course I'm a good woman. No, Please, I need you to talk to my boyfriend on my behalf. That's what I want. Why? Yes, don't lecture me about life. Why should I do that? He I was wasn't... Listen. Who wronged him? He Not me. He to you. No. You have to own up to your mistakes. Apologize when you're wrong. That's the first step to so being a good person. Can you just listen to me? I want you to beg him. Trace. On my behalf. Please. I just listen to you. I listen to all your ramblings. And the fact is, you need to start taking responsibility for your actions. It's simple. Okay, I've heard you. But this time, are you going to talk to him or not? No, Trace. I won't. Oh. Oh. Baby girl. Please get to the back. Oh goodness, you're just well, come not on. Good. I just got back. I don't know deal with all of this. Go and apologize. You did something wrong. Fix it. Really? Of course, I'm not gonna pamper you forever. Do you live around here? Well, not too far from here. Oh, my name is Alex. <laughs> Dorothy. Nice to meet you. Same here. Uh, you do this often? Uh, yes, but I haven't done this in a while. Oh, okay. So what do you do? Well, I just, uh, I just got my master's in medicine and surgery. Yet to practice in this country, though. Oh, really? Mm. So you're a medical doctor? That I am. Uh, let's joke together.
Wakey, wakey. Trace. Oh. Don't tell me you're still sleeping by this time of the morning. What? Tracy. Oh my God. You are so lazy. Come on. Wake up. Who did you inherit your lazy bones from? Myself. You know what? There are too many things seriously off about you. You need to change your character. No, no, no. It's giving me a lot of negative vibes. Come just, on, just please. Hold, it there. hold what? This is me. And I love the woman I've become. A lazy, beautiful woman. Please just stop. I don't want this this morning. It's too early. Now I begin to see what mom was going through because she said she literally comes here every morning and has to wake you up by sprinkling water on you. And I've warned her to stop that. The next time she does that, I will not take it like Shut your that. mouth. What's uh, that? Uh, uh, please just stop it. Don't tell me to shut my mouth. No, I can tell you to shut your mouth. I am your elder. Yeah. My older sister, mm -hmm. you, help no. We were both born the same day. Need so I you're not my older. I you, Trace, that I came out before you. So automatically, I am oldest. Deal with it. Whatever. Just don't wake me again. I will. So why do I feel like I have found the right person with me? She might be the one. I feel it. <laughs> I just have this strange feeling. It's like, it's possible she's the one. Let's try and see. And get your lazy don't behind try. of you, this you bed. Let me lose it. Let me lose it. I can't do it. Let me lose it. Get, get, get out of my bed. You ain't gonna sleep. You know I'm here. You, you ain't you gonna sleep. Oh, hey. smartphone. Uh. <laughs> get up. No way. Get up. No way. Yo, let, let, get let, let me alone. Leave me and get my. What's that, Alex? Who's Alex? But, my friend, on a more serious note, you know you and I do not agree because of this is your attitude. You need to change it. Come on. Your friend, yeah. you just got back yesterday. Aww. Hello? How are you? I'm okay. I'm good. Are you home now? Yeah, uh, I'm home. I'm about to have a cold shower. What about you? I just... I just got in and I'm yet to freshen up. Why? Because of my sister. Trust me, she's crazy. Are you serious right now? Oh, you have a sister? In fact, my twin, Doe, I came out before her. You're mad. Trust me. Oh, you have a twin sister. That's really cool. Are you guys identical? Ah. Thank God we are not identical. Else people will be mistaking me for our incessant madness. D, you've, in fact, you're stupid. I'm <sighs> done with you. Oh. Um, well, is that her? What's her name? <gasps> Tracy. Oga, can you just mind your business and stop asking after my name? Not like you're going to catch a check with it. What is wrong with you? You don't talk to my friend in that manner. Oh, really? Come on. Get out. You get out. No, you get out. Get out. In fact, I am going for breakfast. It's better. Enjoy your boring call. Bye. Whatever. Bye. Whatever. Hello, hello. Alex. Yeah, hello. I'm still here. Enjoy. Sorry about that. That's strange. She's crazy. No, that's okay. So tell me, does your sister have a boyfriend? Alex, please. I do not want to be in her black books today. Please. Um, let's say you don't know if she has a boyfriend, huh? Well, uh, okay. She told me yesterday she kind of had a run-in with her man's elder sister. She, she, called, she called her names, insulted her. Uh, but that's the typical trace. It's just one of those things she does to herself. Well, you know what? Trust me, 
Trace, she's crazy, she's lazy, and she's rude. Ah, can you believe that I just even woke her? Imagine, she's been sleeping all the while. Hey, uh, I'm gonna call you back, okay? I have uh, an incoming call. Yeah, someone's trying to call me. Yeah, I'll call you back. Ah, oh, that's okay. I'll just shower all the same. Bye. Ah. <sighs> Tracy, Tracy, at least I won. She never got the sleep. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How was work? Work, work was fine. I, I'm a private school teacher. Oh. I work in a private school as a teacher, yeah. You didn't tell me you teach or you're a teacher. Uh, that's because we didn't talk for long and you didn't ask. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, I'm here now. You said you wanted us to talk, so let's do that. Dorothy, so I wanted to ask you a question. Go ahead. Do you have a boyfriend? Oh, uh, no. I mean, uh, a brilliant doctor like you should be in a relationship. Well, I feel guys are a distraction, so I don't think I need that now. Guys, you said? Mm hmm That includes me? I haven't said that. I really, really like you. And um, if you permit me, I'd like to get married to you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, let's... I prefer we remain friends, Alex. Okay? Why? Because I'm a poor teacher. No. No, not at all. All right. So, tell me, how long have you been away? Three years. Three years? Mm -hmm. um, that's a long time. <sighs> yeah. So what's your next plan? To practice, of course. Here or overseas? Of course, here. Come on. My parents, they have... Uh, just the three of us. I mean, my brother, my twin sister and I, so. Oh, yes. I remember you said you're a twin. You have a twin. Tracy. <laughs> Is yes. that her name? Of course, yes. How's she doing? Uh, trust me, no one knows what's wrong with Tracy. No idea. Okay. So, uh, is she a graduate like yourself? Medical doctor or something? <laughs> Fortunately and unfortunately, no. She's... <laughs> Tracy's not the brightest. Oh, I see. Yeah. So she's still an undergraduate in the State University. Wow. All right. <laughs> Are you ready? Of course. <laughs> Thank you. 
have you been able to get Alex on phone since then? No, he has refused to take my calls. Then go to his house and beg him. What are you waiting for? <laughs> I can't. His sister warned me never to step foot into that house. Again. Okay, in that case, I will go with you and beg on your behalf. <sighs> That's fine, but at this point, I think I, I lost Alex. <laughs> it's funny, because this is making a total of five men you've lost in less than five months, baby girl. <laughs> Whatever. I know who I am. I am beautiful. I am bold. So this Nikon post can never make me lose my worth. I can't look less than who I am. <laughs> Tracy, beauty will only take you to meet a man. But character will keep that man. And that character is what you don't have. You really need to go tell it. You need to look at yourself. Check yourself very well. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not joking. I'm not bluffing. You need to calm down. You need to like bring down your shoulders. Try and amend some things in your life. You're not saying anything. Mm -mm. I'll be joining my sister to jog tomorrow. I'm trying this joke. When did that one start? It will be starting tomorrow. You know you never since you me. Fresh, fresh. Classic, classic. Fresh, fresh. Come on. She's fresh. She's fresh. She's classy. She's classy. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. She's tight. She's tight. She's fresh. She's fresh. She's classy. She's classy. She's all about the money. She's a lady, 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 lady. 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 She's a lady, lady, lady. lady. She's, She's a classic, classic lady. lady. She's a lady, 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 lady. 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 She's a lady, lady, lady. 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 She's a money lady. lady. Jay. Jay. She don't really care about what you do for a living. You're very funny. So because your sister got a boyfriend while jogging, you two want to go and jog. Uh-huh. And also, I want to be sure it's not my Alex. Now you're thinking in the same light. What if it happens to be Alex? What are you going to do? Never. I won't let that happen. This can never be my Alex. Dorothy cannot have my boyfriend. Not under my watch. My own is two sisters cannot be fighting over one. You will be crying shame. Alex is mine, that's fine. <laughs> the last time I checked, you two are no longer together. He has moved on with his life. Oh, can you just stop it? Vanessa, what is this thing with he has moved on with his life, he has left you and all that? What's, what's the meaning of this whole madness? Please Tracy, stop it. Can we just tell ourselves the truth? In fact, you need to tell yourself the truth because you know Alex has moved on. <laughs> that guy has moved on, so any girl can crush on him. Not Dorothy. Any other girl can. Not my twin sister. Never. <laughs> okay. That's my problem. John Lewis is mine. Nobody's going to take him away from me. He's my boyfriend. He's mine. Am I alone? Unless it's yours. Mm hmm. This is ridiculous because I know Alice is not yours. Says who? Says you and Alice because you guys are not talking with each other. You guys are not talking to each other, so it doesn't what are you matter. Saying? It doesn't matter. Any other girl can have him. Not my sister. Can you just do this with me? So, tell me, yeah. is your new friend coming out to job today? I wouldn't know. He has his life to live. Really? Is he handsome? Why do you ask? Remember, we don't hide things from each other. We have a very sharp memory, Trace. That's fine. So, what does he do for a living? He's a classroom teacher. What? 
The classroom teacher? Mm hmm That simply means he's broke. Your, your boyfriend is broke. Oh! A broke friend mm -hmm. with a very sharp vision. Huh? What stupid vision? He's poor and broke. I hope he didn't ask you out. Well, he did ask me to marry him. What? Who gave him that name? To ask you out? A rich daughter Trace. of Chief Williams. Oh, please. Can you just shush? He asked me and not you. What Come on, you? why are you crying on the bereaved? Besides, <sighs> oh, it's what my means? decision to take. If I want to be with him or not. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I think I like him though. You think? I do like him. <sighs> Why are you going to? Oh, home. Why? Is your new friend coming out to jog today? No, he told me he had um, an early morning class. I think he has to handle the assembly or something. That's fine. Bye! Trace! Come on! Typical Tracy. Wow. Do you mean she actually came out to joke with me because she thought she was going to see Alex? You're crazy. <sighs> I don't want to believe what my ears heard today. The son of a nobody asked my sister, my sister, a trained medical doctor, to marry his poor ass? Wow, he does his audacity for me. I don't blame him. I blame Dorothy, my sister. How come nature has brought this, this nonsense? He gave that idiot the guts to tell her all of this. Okay. <laughs> If it were to be me, I will slap the living day out of him. Trust me, because I know what I'm capable of doing. A king's seed can never eat grass. Imagine. Only marry me. How you won't let me rest, you are all over. Aiden. Aiden, you love me now. I don't know I what is going you. on now. Come on. <laughs> Good morning, Daddy. Good morning, Mommy. No, Tracy. Uh -uh. You freshened up already. I thought you went jogging with your sister. Yes, I did. But your daughter was being cheapish. I hope you've not quarreled with your sister out there. No. Your daughter is about to make the biggest mistake of her life. Why do you say so? She plans to settle down with a low life. A common classroom teacher. Who has nothing attached to his name. Who is he? Who is, he is called Alexandra. A common, A common classroom teacher. Who has nothing, absolutely nothing to offer her. If they love each other and wish to come together in good imagination, I will make them in good as a part. You're not going to allow our first daughter, a trained surgeon, to end up with a low life. Hereta, I am not the one to marry these girls. Chief, our daughter deserves someone better. Well, I am not going to be in support of that kind of marriage at all. I trust Dorothy to make good decisions for herself. She will have her choice. Our daughter deserves better. Tracy, get your own man and we will support you. Really? Now?
Hello? Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep well? It was great, and yours? Yes, I did. So tell me, have you left for school? Uh, yes, I told you I'll be leaving very early, right? That means you're in school now. Yes, I am. What about you? Jogging. Oh, you're on the road now, jogging? Yes, I am. Oh, that's great. You know, I miss working out with a beautiful damsel like you. Trust me, Halek. You sure have your way with words. I say things the way they are. And I was honest when I said you're very beautiful inside out. Is that flattery? I'm not flattering you, my love. What did you just call me? The reason I want to make you the queen of my empire. Queen of what empire, Alex? You're just a classroom teacher. Listen, don't look down on me, okay? I might be a classroom teacher, but nobody knows tomorrow. Listen, marry me and be happy for the rest of your life. Hello? Are you still there? I'm here. Why are you not talking? Or is it because I am a poor school teacher? That's besides the point, Alex. I mean, you, you, just, you just met me and you're asking me to marry you. Yeah, so that's fine. Okay, fine, we'll talk about it. What is this I hear about you and one poor classroom teacher? 6 a.m. news. <laughs> I see Tracy has fed you with some news, right? Dorothy. Yes, mom. Read my lips. You will never marry that gold digger. Not on my watch. Gold digger? Marriage? Oops. Ma'am! Off to shower. Mom, what did you prepare for breakfast? Go make I'm yourself hungry. something to eat. You're hungry. Come on, Chad. Oh, I love you. I love you too. You know that, right? Yes, I know. But then, your friend doesn't like me. As a matter of fact, she doesn't like seeing me around you. I've told you to concentrate on me. Oh, are you dating my friend? It's me, right? So, my friend does not matter. I know, I know. But then, she's a distraction, you know that. I'm a big girl. I'm 100% responsible of myself. I can choose who to love, choose who to be my friend, and who to meet. My friend does not have a say in my life. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, leave my friend out of this. It's me and you. Look, and I'll be here for you. Mm? Oh. Because you're my sunshine. And I'll love you now and forever. <laughs> I love you too. It's me and you against the world. You know you're my lucky charm. Yeah. My answered prayer. <laughs> my blessing from God. My epitome of beauty and originality. See, I can't trade you for anything. Mm. And look, whatever I'm telling you is from my heart to you. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't tell me you're such a good boy. Am I? Of course you are. Cool. So tell me, after school, what's next? I'll go for service. Mm -hmm. Service is my debt. Everybody go for service. So mm. after your one year service, what's next? I'll get married. Why the rush? You don't have any aspiration in life. You don't want to work. Look, my parents actually wanted me to get married. But then I insisted on finishing my education in the university before getting into that. And it didn't actually sit well with my parents. Wait, they want you to marry at the age of 26? 
Look, baby, I'm the only son of Justice Gregory and Professor Grace Mbakwe. Wait, wait, Professor Grace of Grayson University and the son. Yeah. Why did you tell me? Why did you hide it from me? Hey, due to the circumstances that made me lose my three-year academic section in the University of Lagos. So, I didn't really want to like blow my, my, my identity when I entered this university. Okay, so what happened? No, a group of called boys, they wanted me to join them. But then I refused and it cost the life of so many other of my colleagues. Wait, so you refused to join them and they started killing themselves? Yeah, I refused. Of course, I just told you. I'm the only son and I, I didn't want to trade that part. Okay, and and then a lot of people lost their life. And as a matter of fact, I don't, I don't actually feel good anytime I remember that. So I don't want to just relieve that past. So let's just allow the past to be in the past. And that is why you hid who you are from me. Come on, it's not like I'm hiding it. No, you, you, you did that. You're going to be my wife. And I'm not hiding said, anything. No, 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 wait. I'm going to be your wife. I know. But is that not enough reason to tell me who you are? Why did you hide it from me all this while? That means I don't even know you. So start talking. What else? You are so the best. Okay, fine. What else? You just called me a prayer. You owe me. Seriously. I hope it's not big. It's big. Hello, good afternoon. Ah, is um, school. Oh, stressful, right? And ah, your children. <laughs> I know, I meant your class pupils. So you make calls whilst teaching, quite unlike when I was a teacher. Yes, you know, back then, before I left the country, uh, there was this ASU strike. So I had to get a job around our estate where I was teaching and I fell in love with the teaching profession. Yeah, it's, you know, I don't just like being idle. <laughs> Alex, please. You know what? You're just being ungrateful. See, I know so many private teachers who do not have cars, yet you have one. Come on, you should be thankful to God. It's a yes. <laughs> oh, Alex. <laughs> Why do you ha have to do all of this to impress me? Because I care about you and I want you to accept me. How much do you care? I care so much about you. Okay. Well, I like you so much, but I really want to, you know, get a job before I say I do. Yeah, but getting married to 
someone like me wouldn't stop anything. I need time to put everything in place. How much time do you need? Tell me, where do you stay? I mean, we've been hanging around and I want to know your place. Well, good thing that you asked because I was waiting for you to do that. But the time is far spent. We can do that over the weekend. Weekend it is. Please enjoy your meal. And you still haven't answered my question. Why would you want to spend a month's salary in just one evening on a dinner date? Eat your food. she went to see her new boyfriend. You think she went to see her new boyfriend? So because she went out, you now concluded that she went to see her boyfriend? Mm -hmm. And tell me, when are you going to bring a man, I mean an eligible suitor, to this house? Daddy, I am still in school. I'll do that once I'm done with my education. There's nothing wrong in you getting married, even while you are in school. Your sister just came back and she already has a sweeter. <laughs> Daddy, how do you play too much? Come on. Is that one a suitor? Daddy? Is a poor classroom teacher eligible? Daddy, don't worry. When I'm ready, I'll get you a billionaire suitor. You like it. But for now, no way. I can't settle for less. Not for a broke man. You see why no man fancies you? You have zero character traits. Thirty is way better than you are. Daddy, you, you not compare me with your daughter? Anyways, I am more beautiful. And my own kind of a man will come and accept me like that. Huh? Tracy, beauty, they say, is in the eye of the beholder. What you call beauty is not what men call beauty, but innate character. Dorothy has this striking personality that we don't have. He's finally here. Oh my God. Here's who we have. You're so finally here. Yeah. How good evening, you? kid brother. How are you? You okay? I'm good, thank what you. you. What are you cooking? What else? The famous Nigerian jello. <laughs> <laughs> I can smell it. I'm sure it's going to be very delicious. Trust me. I know. Yeah. I mean, I can't wait to hear all about your date. How did it go? It went well. It went well. Are you serious? Yeah, it went well. Okay. Were you able to ask her the question again? Yes, I did. Um, 
I did. And what was her response this time? Uh, she said yes, but not entirely. However, I am still trying to win her over. Okay, that sounds very interesting. Mm -hmm. Dorothy. Yeah. I was told you left this house to see a man. Well, yes. I mean, the same man who asked me to marry him. You mean the wretched, good-for-nothing classroom teacher was the one you left this house to go be with? Well, ma'am, Alex and I had a dinner date. What stupid dinner date with a church rat? He's not a church rat, ma'am. This, this is unreasonable. Come on. If he's not a church rat, Dorothy, tell me, what is a man? Nothing to his name. Tell me. Enough. Enough. Chief, 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 please, let's tell her the plain truth. What plain truth are you talking about? That your daughter should not go on a date with a man who has proposed a marriage to her? What is wrong with you? Chief, there's nothing wrong with me. I will not sit by and watch my daughter marry and never do well. Not while I'm still alive. Mom, I love Alex. And I am definitely going to marry him. What do you know about love? You just came into this country, all of a sudden you are in love. Who does that? Does it really matter? It does matter, my dear. It matters. FYI, mom. Your dearest daughter, Tracy's best friend, Vanessa, is actually dating the son of Chief Justice and Professor Grace Mbakwe. Yes, the honors of Gracias University, my alma mater. I think you should tell that to your beloved daughter. Stop looking down on people, mom. That's one lesson you never taught her. You should try to teach her that now that she's an adult. And good luck with that, because you need it. Bro, tell me something. Is she beautiful? Yes, she's very beautiful. Wow. She's, she's gorgeous, actually. Okay, were you able to take some pictures of her? Oh yes, we took some pictures. In fact, we took a picture in my rickety car. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe this. Inside that your rickety car. <laughs> Did I tell you her sister gave me a new name? In fact, a nickname. She said, Alex with the rickety car. No, she didn't. She did. If she did, that means she's a very saucy girl. <laughs> Honestly. Her twin sister. Hold on. Is she a twin? Surprisingly, she is Tracy's twin. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Which Tracy are we talking about here? Is it that saucy Tracy? Yeah. Hold on, bro. How can you be involved with someone that is connected to Tracy? That saucy girl. If she's her twin sister, it means that they have similar character. No, Dorothy is way different. She's actually very humble and very well behaved. Are you serious? Yes. I'll pick Dorothy any day. She's totally different from her sister. Even when you are aware that she is your ex's sister, twin sister for that matter. Charles, Justice Gregory, and Professor Grace Mbakwe's only child. How is that even possible? That thing is the son of the sun. I can't believe this. This is so impossible to believe. How come? How come I'm just hearing it for the first time? Vanessa chose to keep this away from me and allow me to keep fooling myself by looking down on that guy. 
Oh my goodness. This is the very reason I lost Alex in the first place. And now I've lost this one. <sighs> ah! Trace, what is this? Come on. You keep turning and turning. Why are you not sleeping for God's sake? I, I have an interview tomorrow. Please, let me sleep. I can't sleep. I can't. Then why can't you sleep? The fact that this guy, this, the, this Charles guy that I always insult every day of my life is actually rich and not poor. Gets me sick. Makes me want to lose my mind. You know, I... I don't know what to do. Trace. Listen. <clears throat> it's not like I want to school you all the time. But honestly, you have to deal with this your overbearing attitude. Man, I understand that mom spoiled you. But it would be such a shame if at the end of the day, no man finds you marriageable. Oh. You have to just work on yourself, girl. You know, um, losing my handsome rich boyfriend is the worst thing that has ever happened to me. I, I, I can't, it, it's, it's my worst nightmare and I can't forgive myself for that action. Oh. He's actually a very sweet guy who tolerated my essays. Now he hasn't called nor replied to my messages. I don't know what to do. I've tested him. He, he just don't want to get back to me. I feel so bad right now. I miss him so much. Okay. Trace, can you just move on? What? Yeah, he's moved on. I suggest you just pick yourself up from wherever he's left you, dust yourself, and move on. Yeah, uh, that's very important. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good morning, Doc. Yeah. Okay, you, you can call me back, uh, let's say, in the next two hours. Okay, alright, no problems. I'll respect your call. To be, you're supposed to be a classroom teacher. What what are what are you doing in the office of? I'm in charge here. In charge. But like, hold hold on. I mean, this this is the office of the chief medical director. The, you you. I am in charge here. You're trying to say. You're a doctor? Listen, I apologize for not disclosing my identity to you. So, so, so you, you, you're not, why, why, why did you lie to me? I just apologized for not disclosing my identity to you. 
I wanted I wanted you to love me for who I am and not what I am. <laughs> I swear. Chi, you don't even know what is going on in this house. Miss Dorothy has a suitor that wants to marry her. But my madam said he will not marry him. And from my findings, the man is a school teacher. My sister, I don't know. My madam has called him a low life, a good for nothing, never do well, church rat, wretched man. In fact, I've lost count of the numerous names she has called this young man within this short period of time. Hmm. Exactly, my dear. Exactly. My sister, how did you know? She's actually the one fueling this whole thing. I beg, enough of that. How is Mama? Mm. Okay, I'll come on Sunday evening to see you people. Okay, greet everyone from you. You see, I fell in love with someone on Facebook. We got talking and... We figured out we live in the same town, so we decided to go out on a date. I decided to play a game. I decided to misrepresent myself. I decided to disguise, call it whatever. So I drove the funny car to her and... Um, the same car? Yeah. To cut a long story short, she was upset with me and uh, she felt I wasn't the person she was talking to on Facebook. Uh, she called me all types of names and uh, insulted me. She gave me a nickname. She called me Alex with the rickety car and all kinds of things. So I just left. I figured she wasn't the right person for me, so I left. In fact, to cut a long story short, she She was very, very disrespectful to my sister. And I was like, okay, I can take that. I can take all she did to me, but I can't, you know, take the fact that she was disrespectful to my sister. So I just said, no, I'm done. Yeah. Oi. What's this girl's name? Tracy. Yeah, I feel like she's your sister. Oh. Um. Thing is, you cannot possibly be with two sisters. She's my twin, I... Hey, do it to me. Your sister is in my past, all right? I... I split with her a long time ago, before I met you, so... Well... Then I apologize, I mean... I... I... I realized she wasn't the right person for me. You know, she was all over the place. She had a bad attitude, like. So I, I just, you know, decided to move on. You know, I, I didn't want any drama because I, I don't like dramatic people, so. Yes. But listen, I, I, I'm sorry, okay? I apologize and I promise to make things right. Uh, and you, the, the thing is, I cannot fight my twin over you. 
She... I split with her before I met you. Yeah. Excuse me. Vanessa, how could you? What are you talking about? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Because I don't know what you're talking about. Who are Charles' parents? His parents are his parents, of course. Is it true that his father is Justice Gregory and his mother, Professor Grace of Glacier University? So he told me yesterday. You mean? He told you about his identity just yesterday. Exactly my point. Why would someone hide his identity from someone he claims in love? Like, I don't understand. So, how did you find out? Dorothy. Dorothy, my sister graduated from the private university. So she told me last night. So now you know how far men can go in being secretive. So you guys are getting married? You know already. <laughs> Means I'll be left alone when all my girls are taken. Your girls, I don't understand. Charity is getting married pretty soon. To the same Alex? Yes. To the same poor classroom teacher. And to think that the same Charles, whom I looked down on, is the only son of the son. You know, life happens, right? Alex? 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 Hi. Oh my God. You're so lost in thoughts. I mean, what are you thinking about? Are you okay? You've been lost in thought for a while now. What are you thinking about? Do you mind sharing? Dorothy now knows who I am. What happened? She came to the office today to submit an application. What? Oh my God. I can imagine the shock on her face. Yeah. I equally told her everything she needed to know about Tracy and I. I didn't want to keep her in the dark. Really? You shouldn't have. You should have just let things be the way they are. I owe her an explanation. You see. I don't want this entire situation to hit me in the face when she finally finds out about me. Even at that, I think it's too early for her to know. Sis, don't forget I'll be going to their house for Dorothy's introduction. She'll definitely find out. So now that you've told her, what did she say? She left. How? 
She said she's done. She can't continue. I said it. I said it. You should have allowed her to accept your proposal before you tell her. I think I did the right thing. It is better for her to know now than later. Hmm. Now that she has left, how do you convince her to, to come back? Why is she not picking up? She's probably slept. <sighs> she's not picking up. Maybe she's still upset with me. I'll call her one more time. Ended the call. <sighs> Dorothy, are you still mad at me? I, I just want to see you and talk things over. That even reminds me, Dorothy. Yeah. What about the young teacher that asked for a hand in marriage? What is going on? Well, Dad, uh, I haven't seen or taken his calls for two weeks. Why not? What happened? Um, I'm no more interested. Are you not compatible or are your genotypes not matching? What? Tell me. He's a liar. And I can't be with a man who lies. He lied to you? Come on, tell me about it. Alex is not a teacher. Then, what is he? He is the medical director at Alexander Hospital. In fact, he owns the hospital. It's a lie. Alex is a surgeon, Dad. Are you saying that Alex is a medical doctor? Yes. He lied to me that he was an ordinary classroom teacher whilst being a medical director all along. Okay, but if he's not a teacher and um, he's a medical doctor, that's also fine. Is that okay with you? I mean, what's wrong with that? Well, Dad, I should be asking you, what's wrong with being a classroom teacher? I mean, teaching is a unique profession. You would agree with me. I do. I also know that there is dignity in labor, but then he may have said what he said for a reason. Well, it's not going to work. Alex is the same person who jilted Tracy. Oh. Oh.
Dorothy, my daughter. You see why I was, or rather I have always been worried about your sister and her bad behavior. Between you and I, if that young man, a medical doctor, were to be your brother, would you encourage him to marry Tracy? Dad. I don't I don't want Tracy to see me as a backstabber. Trust me, she's she's gonna wage war. And mom, she'll have my head. So no, please, no. Come on, you know you need to prepare dinner for your people. Huh? I see. Somebody is using what I told him against me. No, I'm not doing that. I know you are. No, I'm not. I'm just looking out for you. You're my wife. I can't use anything against you. Of course, you know your mom is going to have your head if you don't prepare dinner on time. Okay, please. Just take me home. I'm already taking you home. <laughs> my beautiful angel. So, what about your friend? Oh, she's fine. She's okay. okay. Did she come to meet you today? Who? My friend, Tracy. <sighs> no, she didn't. Like, she didn't come to your department to see you? She didn't come to meet me, babe. Why are you asking like twice? Oh, nothing. Oh, Tracy is this top one good. You can say that again, so... You can see the reason why I don't think she's going to come and meet anybody. <laughs> yeah, she has pride, that girl. Stop, Joe. That's my friend you're talking about. <laughs> I know you were the one that asked. I uh, never right, wanted to talk about. Tell me that she's stubborn and she has pride. Cool, babe. I'm taking you home. Let's just enjoy. <laughs> Madam, I saw this outside and I decided to bring this for you. Okay, that's fine. I'll take it from here. Yeah, let's see. Mm. Happy birthday to you, my love. I miss you. <laughs> How did you know it was my birthday? I didn't tell him anything. Grace, you are still around? Yes. Ah, uh, yeah, I was about to leave. Oh. Mm. Let me, let me see. No! No! Oh, no, no, just give oh. it to me. Ah! <laughs> Can you just give it back? Yeah. Give it back, Trey. Tracy. Mm -hmm. This smells so nice. Give it back. <laughs> Tracy, that's private. Uh -huh. Trace, that's private. Uh -huh. That's private. Oh. 
so. Uh, please, same aunt. Mm. Tell me, what about your boyfriend, your teacher boyfriend? Ah, uh, so so. He's there. I know he's there. What's going on between you two? Tell me. Uh, well, darling Trace, I'm really late for work and I need to go. Take care of yourself, okay? Bye. Are you are are you serious? I have patience to take to. Please. Bye. Because I asked about your poverty streaky boyfriend. You remembered you have to go to work. Crazy girl. Today is my birthday. I need my own flowers too. Today is my birthday, mom! I got your gift. I came to say thank you. All right. Happy birthday. How did you know it's my birthday? Your sister. I don't understand. She's my friend on Facebook. Oh. I forgot. Well, thank you. I'll take my leave. Where are you going? Dressed like that. I now work at the specialist hospital. Yeah, I remember you dropped off your application letter and disappeared probably because of what happened. And um, yeah, suddenly you work at the hospital now. Congratulations. Well, Alex. I can't fight my twin over you. Goodbye. How did you find my place? You mean the house you've been hiding? Goodbye, Alex. Why can't I live with the one I love? Oh my God. I feel so helpless. I don't want the whole world to call me names. I'll be labeled a killjoy, a boyfriend snatcher. If I do this, Should I just listen to my dad's counsel? And just say yes to Alex? I've come to love him. He's the only man that appeals to me. He fell in love with Tracy and fell out of love with her. Should that be a determining factor to our happiness? <sighs> what do I do? What do I do? Yeah. Ooh. Where is my heart now my heart is with you i hope i don't sink in this ocean of love where is my heart now it's leaning on you it seems too late to get rid of you
Oh. Dorothy said yes. Oh, oh. Oh. What? Yes. Yes. Where is my heart now? You keep running through my mind. Where is my heart? Hello? Hey love. Hello. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for saying yes to me. Alex. <laughs> let's do this together. Yes, let's do this. You don't know how much this means to me. I thought I had lost you. And I love you more. I love you and I love you and I love you again. Stop. I'm serious, I thought I had lost you. I'm sorry for walking away. That's okay. You're made for me. We're meant to be together, you know that? Yes. I love you. <laughs> and I love you more. But come on, babe. I really need to hurry. I'm on the morning shift, so I have to be at the hospital now. Okay? Don't worry, I'll see you when I get back from work. At the close of work, okay? That's right. See you later. Where is my heart now? My heart is with you. I hope I don't sink in this ocean of love. Where is my heart now? It's yes! Finally. I'm a happy man. Call my sister. Hello? Hi sis. Guess what? Dorothy said yes. Oh yes, she said yes to my proposal. says thank you so much for being there thank you for always being supportive you're the best sister in the world you know that yeah all right see you later all right bye it's <sighs> I told you to meet Charles and attend your apology. I should do what? You heard me right. Tracy, why are you so proud and arrogant? Vanessa, do you mean it when you said I should uh, beg Charles for forgiveness? Come on! Why on earth would I want to do that? For crying out loud, that fool does not mind his business. Oh, I get it. So you want me to apologize to him because he's simply from a rich home? Hell no, I won't do that. Did you just refer to my man as a fool? Oh. Tracy, this is the end of this friendship. What? You heard me right. Do you know what you did? You didn't only insult my man by calling him all sorts of names. You slapped my man. Who the hell do you think you are? I am Tracy. The daughter of Chief William Sleep in Ibu. The money bag. I am beautifully unapologetic. And I can say sorry to that fool. That's who I am. You slapped my man right before me. And you expect me to keep quiet. He crossed the lines. I needed to put him in his place. He messed up. He messed up. The same man that has been looking out for you, Tracy. You didn't only insult my man. That was a slap on my face. Tracy, you went too far. That fool deserved whatever he got. He should learn to pocket his mouth. Tell your fiance or whatever he's caught to stop meddling in my affairs. Tracy, you must apologize to my man else. Else what? Read my lips. I will do no such thing. Won't do that. Then, stay the hell away from me. 
This is the end of this friendship. Fine. I don't need you either. Get out. Good to see you. <laughs> Gina, I was actually planning to come to your school to see you one of these days. Oh. <laughs> High school. Very well. Well, Dad. Mm -hmm. Hey, Derek. <laughs> you know what? Let's just start shopping for your wife. Yes. He needs to get married, Asa. Exactly what I was telling him a few minutes before you stepped in. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wait. Dorothy? Mm -hmm. You know I'm still very young. Actually, marriage is not top on my list mm. now. Really? Sure, no. So tell me, what is top on your list? I have... I have priorities. Like? I'm still in school. But, well, marriage isn't stopping anything. You can get married, then, you know, continue going to school. At what age? Come on, Derek, you're the only son of this house. Dad, say something. I am going to say, I have told Derek that because he's the only son we have here, mm -hmm. he needs to get married. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, Derek, if I must let you know, your mother and I have already started looking out for a wife for you. Have my consent, Dad. <laughs> hey, I will get you something good. I rant nonsense. It's obvious she doesn't value this friendship. She can as well go to hell for all I. Yes. Do you have a girlfriend? Yes, of course I do. What's her name? Wayne. Wow. She must be so beautiful. Yeah, she is paragon of beauty. <laughs> well, tell me, Derek. If you're asked to, say, marry her, will you marry her? Yeah, but she's not... Yet ready for marriage. Oh, okay. I would have said you should just bring her here, let's meet her. But I understand. It's okay. <laughs> it's one of those things, you know. Ooh. Um, I think I need something to drink. Derek, would you like anything? Juice, water, what do you want? No, 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 no I'm okay. Pig. Rest it? It's too late on my father's couch. Hey! Who did you drive there? What do you think you want to do, you imposter? You want to hug me with your stinking buddy? Shh, shh. Imposter, how? Shh, shh, get out. Oh, you don't know? I'll tell you. My father, Chief William C. Benebo, is not. Enough, Trace! Will you shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you? What has come over you? What is wrong with you? That you open that you call a mouth that gutter you call a mouth to spew gibberish what is wrong with you quiet Dorothy one more word of insult from you I will make sure you regret it huh make me regret it Reese. make me regret it what is are you senseless is something wrong with you <laughs> wait you're shamelessly attacking me because I told this fool the truth about who Who he are is. you calling a fool, Trace? Did you touch my face? No, 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 I've caressed and romanced your Did face. Did you touch my face? Will put that thing I call it hell down? Trace, Dorothy, I am going to put your hands together. What's your mouth? Dad! What's your mouth? Dad! The problem is the problem. Hey! No, don't let me talk to this idiot that calls herself my twin. Hey, get out of the Do not take your get out. Stay right there. Get out. Stay right there. Stay right there. get out. Do not move an inch. Do not say any, any word. Are you listening to me, Ozoma? Stand right there. I said get out. What right do you have to say that to get out? What is and going on here? Dad. And as for you, I will make 
sure you regret this for fighting me. Dorothy would pay for it. Dress me. Dad? I said sit down. No, no, no. Here. Sit here. Hey. Hey! Shh, shh. Move away! Hey! Move away! Nonsense. Tracy, I can see you've become mad. Listen, one more word again from you. I will look you in the face and disown you. And what are you waiting for? Disown me. Chief, go ahead and disown me. And as for this fool, this fiend standing here can never be my brother. You have to take him back yes. from wherever you, you got him. So take him back. Your for goodness sake, what is wrong with your will sister? You what is wrong with you? Dad. Please, Dad, please just say it. You, you, you don't have to do this with her. Please. Dad, can you relax and just say it, please? Please. Are you not going to this on me? What is wrong with you, Tracy? Have you, have you lost your sense of dignity? What is wrong with you? You think you're the only one who has the monopoly of madness, right? Dorothy, I wasn't talking to you. Sit your ass down, I Trace. Wasn't... Trace, sit down! Betty, did you push Are you on me? cheap drugs or what? Did you push Trace, me? Sit there! Hey! No, I'm so, just letting so, you do this foolish thing because of daddy. So, dad, tell me. Are you truly my father? Oh, poor boy. Poor Derek. Let me tell you the truth. You don't have your parents living here. You were picked from the orphanage home. Daddy can tell you that. So, you are not my brother. Did I answer your question now? Tracy! My daddy is not your daddy. My mother is not your mom. You see, you're an orphan. I have to tell you the truth. Accept it. Dorothy. Dad. Did I lie? Derek. Listen. Tracy is crazy. I think she's on cracks or something. You don't have to listen to her. Come on. Hey. Do this to yourself. Listen to me. I am telling it. you the truth. Tell These people are lying. Shut your, your mouth, Trevor. Nonsense. Get out of my father's house! Jerry. Get out! Hey, leave my father's house. You're an orphan. You are fatherless. You don't have your mother. You don't belong here. Get out of my father's house! Leave! Stupid boy! I hate you! I hate all of you! Derek, will you listen to me? Tell me what she is telling. But have I ever, yeah, have I ever lied to you before? Come on, you have to calm down. Don't listen to Tracy. She's crazy. She's Tracy. That's why she's Tracy. Come on. Derek. Derek. Come on, you're a man, for God's sake. Stop. Is it true? Is what true? That yourself and mom and Derek's biological parents. Dorothy, I don't want to be left alone. Dad, you can talk to me. I said I don't want to be left alone. From your actions, Dad, it seems Tracy spoke the truth for the very first time. But I'm not one to judge. I'll just advise you, put yourself together and go talk to Derek because he's losing his mind. I blame your mom for all this. If she had not diverted the secret we kept from your children to Tracy, all this won't have happened. I understand your pain. Mom has unknowingly done a whole lot of harm to this family 
then good. But, you know, what beats me is, she wasn't under, under duress. She had no right to, to tell anything to Tracy. She, she practically behaved like a child. Knowing the kind of person Tracy is, she shouldn't have. I will never forgive your mom for what she did to that boy. Never. Irrespective of whatever has happened, Derek is still my brother. There's no doubt about that. But that aside, I'd actually come home to, to, to share some good news with you. Which is... I said yes to Alex. You did? I did, and um, he said he'll come see you tomorrow, officially introduce himself to you and the family. Your marriage to Dr. Alex is really going to hit Tracy like a sledgehammer. Well, Dad, I'm not doing this to get back at anyone. I'm, I'm just, I'm following my heart. Well, I, I urge you that to not allow Tracy's actions or inactions raise your BP. Okay. Thank you. Talk to Derek. He's your son after all. Oh, yeah. I love you, Dad. Once again, welcome to my home. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. So, who is the young man with you? Ah, it's my son, Alex. Alex, the poor classroom teacher. Henrietta, what has come over you? For the often time, this poverty-stricken boy can never marry my daughter. Mom, you know you are embarrassing our guest, you know? You Will know. you shut your mouth? How dare you speak when I'm speaking? Dr. Alice, please forgive my wife for her unruly behavior. <laughs> oh. oh. Doctor, Alex, who, who is the doctor? You came here with your clothes all stashed up. You probably borrowed it from a laundry house somewhere. To impress who? Oh, not me. Um, Derek. Yes, Dad. Please, mm -hmm. are you for real? Wow. Like you're settling for that? That thing? Excuse you. Whatever. Why are you crying more than the bereaved? Come in! Ah, bro. What's up, bro? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Your husband and his dad are here. Oh, you mean my Prince Charming is here? And he's very handsome. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Oh, please. You know what? Tell daddy I'll be right there. Okay? Okay. I'm right behind you. I'll be right back. Okay, sure. Are you seriously blushing for that poverty shrinking fool? 
Like you're so excited. Of course I am excited. You know what? That's left for me to know. Because my darling sister, you are not Alexis type. Uh, my Prince Charming. Come on, put on the wig, then get the dresses. Let me go downstairs and see my man. <laughs> What's that? Thank you. Baby, you're welcome. Dad. Yes. You Thank sent you. for me. Yes. Dorothy. These men here have come to formally ask for your hand in marriage. So I want to ask, should I go ahead and accept their drinks? Yes, Dad. Mm. What is going on here? Tracy, you know him? Yes, ma'am. This is the Alex who broke my heart. Oh, I get it. You left me so you, you, you can have my sister, right? Alex, you left me for my twin sister? That is unacceptable. I won't let that happen. Never! Oh, you came to my house to set my two daughters against each other's throat. Enough. And you, go after this. Dorothy, what kind of a sister are you? You came back from abroad and you did not see any other man to fully quit. But your sister's man? Mom, you can say whatever you want. But I'm not leaving Alex for no one. Dorothy, do not start a fight you cannot finish. If this is a sisterly advice. If I cannot have Alex, you will not have him. He left me, fine and good, but he will not leave me for you. It's simple. The funny thing now is I can't really fathom the reason for all of this. Trace, what's the fuss about? No, tell me, what's this fuss about? Listen, do not take my quietness as cowardice. Man snatcher, that is what you are. Tracy, the last time I checked, you guys even broke up before I got back into this country. So what is it? Dad will marry Dr. Alex, and that's final. Dad, hey, listen, let me tell you. You will not win in this fight. You will not win over Alex. You see, this is your problem, Trace. Do you know the reason Alex left you in the first place? Because you're arrogant, you're, you're proud, you have bad behavior. And you, you, you tend to pretend as if you're overly confident, which you're not actually, because this is stupid. Yes, and mom, why have you gone quiet all of a sudden? The same poverty-stricken Alex you both are making a fuss over now. Why? No, no, no. Tell me why exactly. Well, as Dad rightly said, I will marry Alex. And there is nothing 
anyone can do about that. Dorothy, do not try me. Don't even try it. Because I'm sure you will not want to see the demon in me. Do you want to marry Alex? Let's see. Well, Trace, if I have the consent of God and I have that of my dad, then trust me, darling. I will win over and over and over again. Dorothy, Alex can marry any other girl. Definitely not my twin sister. You know what, sis? You better start crying over your loss. Because guess what? You did lose him. Hey! I will sit here. No please. way! Don't be too excited. You've not won yet. I did already. Excuse me! You don't have to go to where I want. Hey! 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 I am going upstairs. That's it. Trace, there are so many rooms in this house. You can just pick one and just disappear there. You do not own this house. Please, make like a dog and like get out! Please get lost! Hello! Just imagine what this animal. Man snatcher! That is really You're just inconsequential. Go you just your to shame me. Go get another man. Rubbish. Go I get another man. You know what? Go kill yourself, Trace. Go get another man. I hate you. Alex, what was that bad there? Dad, whatever happened was expected to happen. How do you mean, Obi? How did you know what happened? You were not there. So how did you manage to know what happened? Dad, Alex met Tracy before. And then he dumped her because of her bad behavior. You mean Alex dated that mannerless girl that could not even greet me? Exactly my point, Dad. That girl is. She, she, she doesn't have any manners and she lacks home training. Just like her mother. Honestly, uh, Alex, come to think of it. Must you marry from that family? Dorothy is the one I want. She's the one I want to be with. Yeah. Dorothy is a nice girl, Daddy. Do you know she's even a medical doctor? She studied from Oxford University. And it just amazes me how these two people are uh, twin sisters, but they have different personalities. Okay, now that uh, the other girl and her mother are posing as a threat, will you continue with your marriage plan with Dorothy? Yes, Dad. Dorothy is the one I want. She's very well behaved. And most importantly, she is exceptional. Quite different from her sister. And um, I know I had a thing with her sister, but... It's in the past. I must confess, I fell for that girl the very day you brought her home to introduce to me. Dorothy is exceptional. Yes. She's well behaved. that calls herself my twin. Oh, here you are. Pressing your phone. I am sure you are chatting with my Alex. I am talking to you. You knew Alex was the guy in the big picture. You are sleeping with the same guy I kept telling you about. And you kept me in the dark all along, right? Point of correction, Trace. You think I am you? You think I am you who goes about sleeping with any guy? Listen, FYI, I left Nigeria to the UK a virgin and I came back to this country with my virginity intact. Liar. Get out. Liar. Get out. out. You are swear and you will die. Just Fred get out. My foot. Hey, hey, listen. I will not allow you marry Alex. If that will happen over my dead body. That can be arranged, sister. Trust me. Oh, really? Yes! I could send you to the mortuary this minute. You if that's not. what you want. You but listen not. to me, Trace. As for Alex, I'm done marrying him. Behind me, you've been sleeping with the same guy I've been telling you about. 
What does that make you? Let me ask you a question. Did you ever tell me the name of your ex? Even why you, why you both were together? Did you tell me his name? And when you found out, why didn't you stop? Why did you accept his proposal? Tracy, let me ask you a very honest question. Okay. And I hope you give me a sincere answer. If it were to be you, tell me, would you have rejected his proposal? Answer me! Yes. Is he the only man in this world? Bravo, darling! Bravo, you just answered it! Alex isn't the only guy in this world. So please, leave him alone. Because now, he's all mine. Move on, Trace. Move on. That will not happen. Never! It has happened. You're not getting married to him. Oh, really? Watch me do it. It's uh, never going to happen. It has happened! Stupid girl! Oh, please. Get, get out. out. Get out! I said it last. And FYI, you're no more my twin! Yes, me too! I hate you! And I hate you I more! Hate you more! Just leave me the hell alone, Trace! Ugh! Don't look. Sorry about the embarrassment. There's no need to apologize. I already knew what was going to happen, so that shouldn't bother you. I have something for you. What? You have to close your eyes. Okay. <sighs> eyes are closed. Keep them closed. Trust me, they are. Okay. Open your eyes. Wow, this is, this is beautiful. You like it? I love it. Like, it's really nice. This must have cost you a fortune. You deserve more than that. <laughs> Another one. Right. <laughs> you have an eye for really cute things. This is so nice. Thank you. you ah, okay. This chicken like this, yeah. Oh, okay. That's okay. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. It's alright. Oh, it's truly yeah. beautiful. Okay. I love it. I love, love, love it. <sighs> I could take it anywhere I want. Yeah. Nice. You like it? I love it. Sorry, I just have to do this. Oh, take your time. <laughs> I sincerely need to do this. <laughs> This is truly beautiful. <laughs> so I've decided to... What? Do the marriage right. Where is my heart now? Wow. My parents and I made that decision already. You sure have so much surprises for me today. I can't <laughs> wait to meet you my wife. And I can't wait to officially call your wife. Thank you. Oh my god. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. What do you think about this? This is really, really nice. It's very nice. But well, let's flip and see the next. Yeah, but now oh, I, good I think this is really. No, this is actually going to look very beautiful on you. Check it out. I think I like it too. Yeah. It's nice. <laughs> it's beautiful. Very beautiful. You're going to look gorgeous in that. <laughs> I like it. Absolutely. Are you shy? Well, then is. You stare me out of proportion, so... Well, because you're very pretty, I like to look at you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. I love you, you know that? I love you more. That's great. Oh, sorry. Hello? Hi. Yes, I can hear you. 
Dr. Kate, I can hear you. How bad is it? Okay, I'll be there shortly. All right, all right, thank you. Bye. Um, what's going on, man? I have to go. There's an emergency. Emergency? What happened? Yeah, someone is in labor. Um, uh, it's very complicated, actually. Yeah. Okay, then uh, I, I think I should just go with you, then. That, that's fine, you, you want to come? Uh, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, you surely go. Look at the time. Dad, I'm so sorry. Uh, it wasn't intentional. We had an emergency at St. Alexander Hospital. Dr. Alexis <laughs> Hospital? Yes, Dad. A lady was rushed in from a local maternity home. And, you know, she needed Dr. Alice to see to her, so. So, what happened? Well, uh, Alex and I had to carry out an emergency C-section on her, but thank God, her quadruplets made it out alive. Oh. The mother too, though. Oh. That's good news. Yes, sir. You had to see the way people kept trooping into the hospital to come see the mother of four kids. I mean, boys, all of them, all boys. Wow, the best news I've had in recent times. Mm -hmm. Dad, guess what? what? I heard she's been barren for 23 years. You're kidding me, aren't you? I ain't kidding, Dad. 23 years. Wow. God is really faithful. Please. What a day. You must be tired. Of course that I am. I'll just go freshen up, you know. Just rest. Have you had something to eat? I'm fine, Dad. <laughs> I'm good. Dorothy, I have told you to stop skipping me. You're a medical doctor, you should know better. I know. Yeah. <sighs> Go rest inside. Oh yeah. yeah. Now that you're back. <laughs> love you, Dad. I love you more, baby girl. Dorothy! Dorothy! In one sentence, you tell me where were you last night? <laughs> Are you sure you're alright? If you don't tell me what I need to know, I will tear you into pieces and the nothing will happen. The last time I checked, Trace, I am not 18. What has come over you? Are you sure you're fine? Please. My friend, come back here. Trace, I am not doing this with you today. So really? Tracy, where were you all night? You boyfriend snatcher. You think I don't know? Oh, so that's your pain. Oh my word. You know what? FYI. I am getting married to Alex and there is nothing you can do about it. So deal with it. What is this? Please. You will not try no, it. Please. You will not try it. Damn me. Don't have to try me in this house. And I will show you the stuff I'm made of. Stupid girl. I am getting married to Alex. Boyfriend snatcher. Your daughter is at it again. Exhibiting her madness both inside and outside of this house. She is fighting a just cause. 
Dorothy cannot marry Tracy's ex. It's not done anywhere. Henrietta, if you have a problem with Dorothy marrying Dr. Alex, you must be insane. Oh, yes. You better warn Tracy to stop bickering on her sister. Else, I'll be forced to unleash my anger on her. The earlier you tell Dorothy to kill whatever she has with Alex, the better for all of us in this house. So you're daring me. Henrietta, Dorothy must marry Dr. Alice. And by virtue of marriage, I remain your husband. And if this madness continues, you will leave me with no option than to throw you and that your useless daughter out of this house. Chief Williams, Ibn Ebu, do your worst. Many years ago, a young promising young man came back from overseas. He met a young girl running errands for her parents who were classroom teachers. He decided to lift their family out of poverty and decided to ask for the young girl's hand in marriage. Enrita, does that ring a bell? First, your daughter will not marry a poor classroom teacher. Now the story has changed. That poverty striking wretched, good for nothing classroom teacher happens to become the director of St. Alexander's Hospitals. <laughs> In life, never underestimate anyone. Never look down on people because you do not know who is who or what tomorrow holds for anyone. of this shameless egot who enjoys two sisters. What exactly is the color of your problem? You are my problem. Alex, you are the color of my problem. You used me and dumped me. You think I'm a fool? I'll be the biggest fool to let you get married to my sister. Wow. Tracy. What we shared is in the past. Yeah. I left you because you were not the right person for me. You have a bad character. Yes. 
I tolerated you because I'm more mature than you. Mm. Yes. You insulted my sister, did you not? I didn't know she's your older sister. Immediately I found out, I apologized to her. But I'm sorry. But I called you. I apologized and I asked for a second chance. Didn't I? I'm sorry, my family rejected your apologies. And you jumped on my sister to get married to her. Because she's better than you. A hundred times. She's well behaved. She's very respectful. She was well raised. But you? And let me tell you something. I... I asked for your sister and I to go out on a date and uh, she accepted. So I decided to play a game. You remember my rickety car? I drove my rickety car to your sister. And she was so excited. And she loved me even more. Something you cannot do. Mm, I get it. You chose my sister over me because she came back from overseas. But let me tell you. I will be traveling to the United States of America very soon. Did you just say that? Yes. Can I buy your ticket? What? Now go call me your dad. We have a serious business to talk about. You're mad. Thank you. You're crazy. Thank you. Call your dad for me. This has not ended. Call your dad for me. What? This has not ended yet. <laughs> Hello, sir. Dr. Alex. Hey, sir. How are you? I'm doing okay. How are you, sir? Thank you. Thank you. So, how's everything? Fine. I'm still there. You're taking care Yeah, it's okay. So the next week is fine. Yeah. But have you discussed with my daughter? Yes, we have. Uh, we have agreed to get married traditionally and do the white wedding next. It's okay. We shall be expecting you and your people. Sir, I would like to thank you for your support. I appreciate it. It's okay. I will always support my own. Dorothy is my daughter. I love her so much. So, see you soon. Appreciate it, sir. I'll be on my way. Thank you, sir. Okay. Appreciate it. Bye.
Wow. Vanessa and Charles are wedding on the 30th of this month. That means her diary has been paid and traditional rites done. Tracy, what have I done to myself? This is all my fault. I did not pay heed to my dad. I just destroyed my life by my own self. My sister's wedding is first week next month. And my own girlfriend is having her wedding next week Saturday. Mom, this is your fault. You should have corrected me when I was going astray. But instead, you fought Dad. Dad would try to discipline me. Just look at me. I am all, all alone. I'm all cleft up. What do I do? Well, why didn't I just listen to my, my friend and drop my pride? You still have lost everything. I guess it's never too late to start all over. I'm changed. I'm changed person now. She's a classic lady. She's a lady. 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 She's a lady. Lady. She's a morning lady. She don't really care about what you do for a living, oh All she cares is about your money Can you pay her bills? Oh yeah Can you tie her shoes? Oh yeah Can you buy her house? Oh yeah If you can't make you hide your face Can you pay her bills? Oh yeah Can you show your swag? Oh yeah Can you handle her? Oh yeah If you are not good, make you Hide your face, she's a lady, 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 she's a lady, lady, she's a classic lady, she's a lady, 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 she's a lady, lady, she's a money lady. What is life without money? Life without class, life without flexing, that's in life. Don't have money, come my way. Like ta 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 away. Life is for hustlers. Live as a liar, not for the best. Trace, you are specially invited to my wedding on 30th this month. And I want you to please be my maid of honor as my girl way back. See you. And bye. Wow. Oh. Hi, bright to be. Hello, Vanessa. I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> Congratulations. Of course. <laughs> yes, I'll be happy to, to honor your invitation and also as your maid of honor. <laughs> what are friends for? <laughs> Of course, I'll be there. Trust me. <laughs> Congratulations. Of course, go away. Go away. Get out of my phone. <laughs> bye, baby girl. Sure, bye. We have a wedding to plan. So let me get ready as maid of honor. Not like I have a choice. Vanessa, authority. Life happens. <laughs> My love, yeah. I am overjoyed. <laughs> I mean, call you very excited. So tell me, what do you have in mind? Um, honeymoon. 
honeymoon. Mm-hmm. All right, so where do you want to go? Where do I want to go to? Vegas. Is that the best place to go? Yeah. Vegas? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. How about Paris? <laughs> no, Vegas. All right, Vegas, it is. Mm, well, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Yes. So I should start packing. But... Tonight? Not tonight, obviously. <laughs> that reminds me. You wanted to tell me something. What's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? What's that? What's that? Can, you, can you believe I saw Tracy at our wedding? Seven guests at the reception. I saw her too. I was very surprised. <laughs> oh my, see Tracy, bringing herself down to save people. How? You know what? Let's drop this conversation. Let's talk about something else. Okay. Honeymoon it is. Mm. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> Is, is the door open? Yes, okay, okay. Oh, oh my god, you guys are leaving. I'm going to miss you guys. <laughs> oh, miss you miss you you too. I hope you're happy now. Of course, I'm excited. Oh <laughs> my god. Take care of yourself. So you guys are already leaving for the state like this. Yeah. You're going to leave me here. Oh. I told you to come with us and you said no. No, no, no. Let me stay and take care of the house. Okay. Don't worry. I'll call See, you. Make sure you keep in touch. Definitely. Will. And take care of yourself. Definitely. Oh, definitely. Take care. Bye. wrong with me. I hope I'm not having malaria or typhoid fever. Because I'm not ready to go for any injections. But why have I been throwing up and feeling so weak lately? the month. And the last time I, I saw my... Jeez. Could I be pregnant? Pregnant? No, no. Am I three months gone? My goodness, what do I do? I... Alex is already married to my twin sister. Downcast. Tracy, did anything happen? What breaks your heart, my child? What's the problem? Mom. My child, you can't talk to me. Did anything happen? Mom, I am. I am pregnant. What? Pregnant? How can you let this happen? Oh. 
crying will not solve this issue. Don't worry, stop crying. Who is responsible for the baby in your womb? Alex. Which Alex? The same Alex that left you two months ago and got married to your sister? How is that even possible? Since Alex left, no man has touched me. Hmm. This is going to be a problem. Tracy, the same you that said we should put everything behind us and leave things the way they are. Mom, I said all of that because I want a change and I want my own peace of mind. You know what? You know what? Forget about these days. You are getting married to Alice as soon as they get back. In fact, I'm going to tell your father now. Mom, how can you say a thing like that? I can't. You can't. I'm going to tell your father. Mom, please don't do that. We can figure a way out. Mm -hmm. Yes. You want to figure it out? Then figure it out once I tell your father you're getting married to Alice mm. as soon as they come back from their honeymoon. Have you been? I've been good. I've been fine, baby. Mm -hmm. That's good. Baby girl, marriage looks good on you. Come on. You're glowing. You can say that again. My husband is the best. <laughs> so, how have you been? I've been, I've been good. Your parents? They're all good. <laughs> So, Vanessa, did you just call me to let me know you're in my vicinity or you want us to talk about something? Actually, yes, I want us to talk about something very important. Oh, okay. Do you remember Charles, my husband's best man? Um, um, uh, marvelous, right? Yes, marvelous. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I remember him. Yeah, the guy that came back from Canada. Okay. He said he likes you. What for? He told my husband in confidence that he wants to marry you. <laughs> marry me? Yes, don't you want to marry a Canadian boy? Why face pregnancy now? Sweetheart, I can understand the shock. But you can think about it if you want. But I'm you, I would just say yes. Come on. Oh, okay. My friend will soon be going to Canada. Mm, Canada. <sighs> what do I do? I can accept marvelous. While another man see this going inside of me. I've promised myself not to fight my sister anymore over Alex. I joyfully accepted them to get married. And now am I going to fight my sister again? What am I going to do? I can destroy Dorothy's marriage again. I'm not going to fight my sister over Alex again. I can't. Tracy, you can't do that. She's my twin. I'm just going to be strong. Yes. Tracy, you are strong. I'm going to remain strong and let it be the way it is. Tracy, 
My dear, listen. Crying isn't going to solve anything. Alice cannot get you pregnant and run into the arms of the next available girl, your sister. No. Who did he leave you for? Who is going to marry you with this pregnancy? Or even as a baby mama? Huh? No. Even you, are you so daft that you couldn't decode that you were pregnant all along? Mama, a lot was going on. You don't put the blame on me. I had a lot going on. I couldn't even take note that I haven't seen my flow for so long. Hmm. Alice must marry you. Soon as he gets back from Miami, he is taking you as a second wife. What? Yes. Mom, I thought we were done with all of this. I am not going to do that. Hey, listen, I am not going to destroy my sister's marriage. Hell no. I won't do that, please. Listen to yourself. No. Can you hear yourself talk? You sound very stupid. You don't have sense. You want to give birth in my house? No. I'm not going to let that happen. Tracy! You are not giving birth in my house! Mom, can you quit this drama? Why are you being so insensitive? Call it whatever you like. But I'm not going to be around and watch things go wrong. I'm not going to let you do what you did to me years back again. Mom, you destroyed my life. I'm not going to let you do that. I would have listened to father. Me? How? It was your fault that I lost Alice. Yes, it was your fault, Mom. Am I the one that sent you to Alice's house to insult the sister and call her all sort of name? Old hag. Tracy, are you going to blame me for your bad character in and out of this house? No, 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 no. Mom, get out. Leave my room. Go ahead. Cry over your loss. Enjoy it. Mom, leave my room now before I do something both of us will regret. Get out! Why does it even have to take so long before I could recognize that you're such a bad mother? Oh. Get out of my room. You can say whatever you like, but you see this bastard, you are not giving birth to this bastard my in my house. house! not a bastard, and I will give birth to my child! Where is the father? If he's not a bastard, where is Get the father? Get out! Get out of my room! Get out! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! No! Ah! Tracy! My baby! Tracy! Oh! My baby! He's out! Oh! oh. Let's get, get you to the hospital! Oh. Try to get up! Stop!
classic lady. She's a lady. 